Now, this is fascinating. A new report claiming that sleep apnea may have played a part in the death of uh, Supreme Court Justice Anthony Scalia. Dr. David Samadi is here. Doctor, um, we understand that um, Justice Scalia had sleep apnea. He had one of those masks that are sometimes worn overnight. He was not wearing the mask on the night of his death. I didn't know that sleep apnea was as dangerous, that it could be fatal. Absolutely it is, and we're not suggesting that we know exactly the cause of death. Precisely. So the purpose of this segment is not to say for sure that, you know, he died from sleep apnea, but you're 100% right. So, 79-year-old man, slight obesity, some diabetes, you add sleep apnea, and all of that could be the reason why this unfortunately happened. How do you know you got it? How well, do you know it? it's interesting because 12 million people actually have this. Oh, more than half of people who have or may have sleep apnea, they don't even know about it. So if your girlfriend or your wife constantly, like, like, you know, keep kicking you in bed because you're snoring and you're choking in bed and you're grasping for air, that's probably sleep apnea. Sleep apnea means that you have airway obstruction. You don't get enough oxygen. So you go in and out of this, like, a breathing pattern. Your brain tells you, I need oxygen. So it wakes you up. So if the guy is getting up four or five times to go to the bathroom, it's maybe prostate problem, which we deal with. It. That's easy. Yeah. Or it could be sleep apnea. When you don't get enough oxygen and you have some uh, diabetes, vascular issues, all of those can lead to cardiac arrhythmia and can really push you to have heart attack. I remember the first time I ever heard about this. There was a 60 minutes piece, maybe 30 years ago, That's where they right. had a guy just falling flat on the floor in the middle of the day. These are the guys that they have gone to sleep for about seven hours. They wake up. They're more tired before than, than when they went to bed. Motor vehicle accidents. They're always tired. These these are the guys who are sleeping like this, snoring in the classroom, at work, etc. Very dangerous. It can lead to metabolic syndrome and heart disease. You go to a sleep lab. That's the treatment. You go to a sleep lab. They monitor you for a couple of days. They see your oxygen level. And then you can get this CPAP machine, which is a positive airway pressure. Or you can put a device in your mouth to get the air to go in. So there's a treatment for it, and, and Look, like, before we close, can save your life. There's not many 40-year-olds or 50-year-olds who die from sleep apnea in the middle of the night, are there? It's not, but it can reach the risk of death by two, by twofold. Between 40 to 70, if you have sleep apnea, we can save your life. It's a very easy problem to oh. fix, and we can do it. Okay? We can fi for a fee. We, 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 can, we, fix we it. can we can win. Okay, we need the wall. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can win. Samadi, you're all right. <laughs> no matter what they say. All right, David Samadi, thank you very much, Good sir. To see you too. Good luck now.